Hi girls, it's Dar, Hardy Dar, with an assemblage that I made for Tim Holtz. I'll be seeing him in a couple days. This is August 2012, and I'm so excited about taking one of his workshops. He's the guru artist that we all adore and love, his techniques and his products. So um, I wanted to share this with him. On top you can see it's like a steampunk birdie, an antique bowler hat, the two uh, handles on the side, it's an old wooden vise that I found in an antique store. And then uh, lots of Timmy products. Of course, some of it is my own that I wanted to incorporate. But here's a um, camera next to it so you get uh, a little bit better of a scale of the size. Sorry if I'm shaking too much. But that's the assemblage. And I'll get a little bit closer and show you some more. This is just a arts and crafts bird. I pulled all the feathers off and then I did a little bit of decoupage with uh, text and words and put some charms. It's got a wing nut on the top for his head and gears for the eyes. And uh, these are springs that came out of a watch, several watches, more ball chains, and it hangs. So it can be used as an ornament. That's the steampunk birdie. She, he's cute. He's cute. So the, the bowler hat's an antique that I've had for quite some time. And it's time to give it a new home. Somebody that would really love it. And I like his dyes that have the uh, gentleman with the bowler hat and the umbrella. So I hope he likes that. Uh, you can see the shape of the assemblage is, to me, kind of like an art doll shape. It has two arms sticking out and the little feet on the bottom. It has an 8mm roll uh, reel. And it has his... Um, micro, uh, what do you call it, eight millimeter film. It has pen nibs and clocks and tassels and chains and numbers. And that's an original uh, cabinet card. And I took a gold pen and gave him some wire rim glasses. On the sides it has some ball chains and on the edge die cut of the gears that I have a fun technique where you use wet paint and then put your embossing powder on it, heat it up, it'll bubble and it'll give you lots of texture so that it looks really old and textured. That's a real big spring from uh, like a timer, a big alarm clock. The bigger the, the uh, thing is, the bigger the spring will be, which is fun. And then one of his little uh, tag sentiments says, the journey awakens the soul. And um, I just like the way it came out. Little rusty stars. On top I have rusty stars that I used upholstery tacks to nail down in there so that it would hold the hat and be removable. And then this is similar to what he has in his product line, but I wanted to use a bigger one. It was better for scale. And then also on the sides on the bottom, these spin. If you, if you just lightly uh, put them in with tacks or screws, you can get them to uh, still have movement. Okay, there's a close-up of the cabinet card. Now let me turn it around so you can get a, a view of it from the back. And it's not a very flat surface that I have it on. Let's hope I can get this. It, it, it's really quite stable if it's on a flat surface. All right. Stay. <laughs> Lean it up there a little bit. Okay, there it goes. It wants to fall over, but that's all right. Here, my husband's laughing in the background. The back of the cabinet card says, Art Studio. And I just think it's really, really cool. And some more, um, there's my name and the date. It has an old phone speaker. Some stuff to give it some weight. So that's the assemblage. <laughs> I thought it came out pretty cute. I hope he likes it. If he doesn't, he can just give it back. I have a nice shipping box and uh, the bubble wrap and everything for it so that um, he doesn't have to put it in a suitcase or worry about the packaging and stuff. So it'll be all packed up and easy for him to have shipped back home. And let's put the little hat back on. And there's this little birdie. And there, isn't it?
just wanted to share and I have another item that I want to share with you uh, for Mario he turned 50 this year so let me put this on pause and come back and show you what I have for him